good afternoon everyone how are you so i have recently purchased a new uh, or created a new account in digital ocean and today i'm going to show you how you can uh, create a new uh, droplet which is called in digital ocean and set up a server over there okay so let's go to digital ocean first I have a default hundred dollar credits. I am going to use that. First, I am going to create a droplet, which is called now, which is similar as EC2 instance in AWS. Let's see what are the options we have. Uh, we have Ubuntu, we have FreeBSD, we have Fedora, Debian, CentOS. Well, let's go to CentOS. And we have CentOS 8, 7, 6. Let's choose CentOS 6.9. I am used to on CentOS 6.9. And let's stay over there. Okay, we have different plans standard, general purpose, CP optimized, memory optimized. Okay. So, what about general purpose? Okay, standard. Okay, CP optimized. Standard. Okay, let's see what the options we have. That's very huge. Let's start with the smallest one. Five dollar per month. One one gigabytes of RAM. One CPU. Twenty five gigabytes of SSD. That's fine. Then um, add a blog storage. Okay, let's add a blog storage here. Oh, it's probably not. Required at this moment. I just remove volume, not needed. Okay, and New York, San Francisco, Amsterdam, Singapore. Singapore. Let's go to Singapore because that's nearby. And then we have one time password or SSH keys. Well, SSH key, that's fine. Private networking or IPv6 is a IPv6 networking. Okay, let's try this. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a new SSH key here. Okay, so it will use my local SSH key that's let's not do that let's one time password email so we want a password let's see okay. how many documents okay host name web tags not required enable backups not required at this moment create droplet Might take some time, so okay, it's done. Looks like it's done. Okay, that's great. Uh, where is the password? This is my IP.
So you have uh, console access. You have VNC. Let's see. Oh, that's great. So I can just directly run the commands onto this console. That is even better. password okay then I just need the password here as well oh okay the password has been emailed to me okay let's pause this video for a moment okay so I have given my password and then I need to reset my password that's fine let's um, install something here so it is CentOS 6 so i should be able to run sudo yum Looks like it will take some time, so I'll just pause the video for a second. Okay, so uh, my YAM package has been updated. Now I'm going to install uh, HTTPD. Sudo yam install HTTPD. Okay, let's see what versions of Apache there. It's 2.2. Okay. Then I am going to install sudo install php. It will install php 5.3. Oh no, that's not that I want. Because that's too old. So uh, I want to have PHP seven. Let's see, we have this package. There is no package available. Okay, we have an option to search the packages because I, I cannot remember for CentOS 6. So,
I just need to run these commands here. Okay, we are now having PHP 7.2. That's great. So, um, by default in CentOS 6.9, this is an issue that you have uh, PHP version is 5.3, which is not used anywhere at all. So, that's why we need to use a different version. I'm going to write just an uh, PHP info command. Let's take the IP address of the server. Oh, here it is. And then info.php. Okay. So uh, I just started to using DigitalOcean and I have installed Apache 2.2. PHP 7.2 and then I will install some more tools over there so thank you for watching my video and I will get more videos on digital ocean and see how, how this is useful for application development DevOps and all other things thank you for watching my video and bye